uh, Chicano Studies uh, here at Cal State LA is a very relevant course for uh, all Chicanos in LA and uh, we really need it. Uh, our people really need these classes. David, what seems to be the problem here with the Chicano students on campus at Cal State? Well, uh, as a representative of Mecha, uh, over a year or two years ago, we had a dean of students, David uh, Bouvion, that has come to this campus, and uh, we just haven't been able to work with him uh, for the past year. Uh, I think what's, what's, what's come to a head now is that uh, he has uh, just arbitrarily fired uh, one of our staff members under the Education Opportunity Program. And uh, without consulting the community, the students, uh, or the faculty on campus, uh, you know, and this position affects all of us uh, deeply. And uh, he just took it upon himself to fire him and uh, uh, not consider the community at all. Well, you've also asked for self-determination on the EOP programs. What do you mean by that? Uh, by self-determination, we mean that uh, uh, along with the administrators, the community should have the right in determining uh, many of the policies of the program, uh, recruitment, uh, selection, who is going to be working in EOP, uh, have a voice in the program, an active voice in the program. Uh, as it is right now, uh, uh, Johnny Greenlee, the president, has refused to meet with us as the students, and he has refused to meet with uh, representatives of the faculty. And this is, these are people who have PhDs uh, or who are you know, tenured members of the faculty and has just closed the door on them. Yesterday he refused to meet with them. What are some of the other demands by the students here? Well, we're not only talking about the education opportunity program, uh, you know, affecting Chicanos. We're talking about self-determination for all uh, programs on campus, uh, including blacks, Asians, Native Americans, uh, you know, any other program. One of the other demands that we have is we have gone to Dean Bouvion in the past and asked him why someone under his department, Beverly Zolan, from the financial aid department, has seen fit to return $53,000 to the state or federal government, I believe, uh, when students on campus uh, could have used it for financial aid. Uh, this is not the first time. Uh, the financial aid ceiling on this campus is higher, I think, than on any other campus. It's easier for students on other campuses to receive money than it is on this campus uh, because she's made it so, so, so difficult for people to, to uh, uh, get the money through her criteria. Uh, we have students that are 30, 40, uh, 45 years old and they require your parents 1040 form. You know, that's ri ri ridiculous. You know, we've, I've been living away from home for three or four years already. I, I can't go back and uh, ask for a, a 1040 form or a financial aid statement from my parents. And it's this type of things that uh, have led up to this. Chicano students at Cal State are claiming that President Greenlee has a deaf ear so far as their demands are concerned. If these demands are not met, they say they'll ask for the president's resignation and also the resignation of Dean Bubion. Cecilia Pedrosa, Channel 5 News reporting. Chicano students at Cal State are unhappy with the fact that President Greenlee has ended his open door policy towards students. They say that President Greenlee has a deaf ear so far as student demands are concerned. If these demands are not met, they say they'll ask for President Greenlee's resignation and that of the Dean of Students. Cecilia Pedrosa, Channel 5 News reporting.